welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and this is The Fields Full House. If you are new here, hello and welcome. We are a large family. We are a family of 12 and today I am sharing the meals that we had this past week. So I'm going to show you all of our dinners and what it takes to feed this large family. So today's video is extra fun because I teamed up with my friend Tiffany from Our Small Town Life. If y'all have not met Tiffany yet, go over and check out her channel. Leave her a comment, tell her that Jessica sent you. She is just the cutest thing ever. She is also expecting their fourth baby, a sweet baby boy, and I am so excited for them. Children really are a blessing. Um, but she is gonna be sharing what she has fed her family this past week as well. So hope that y'all get some good, fun meal inspiration. Go check out what she fed her family, and this is what I fed my family. Now disclaimer, I had two days this week that were just major, we needed some extra help. So we ate out and we did sandwiches, <laughs> So, but that's mom life. And I think it's important to know that it is okay to do that every now and then, right y'all? So anyways, here are all the meals that we had this week. All right, so I have absolutely no idea what today is. <laughs> but tonight we are having sheet pan nachos and they smell really, really good. So I'm gonna show y'all those. And we also, we went um, strawberry picking today. So we are gonna have a angel food cake with strawberries on top for dessert. It smells <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, so here's the sheet pan nachos. Girlfriend's getting herself a bite with nothing on her chip. <laughs> so I like to do nachos like when we have a lot of taco leftovers. And we did happen to have tacos, um, I don't know, a few nights ago, but we don't have any leftovers. So I had to cook the meat and the beans and all that. Um, but it just sounded good. So that's what we're doing. Make sure it's not poison. Yeah. So Nathan, um, actually, were, the tomatoes that we had were bad. So he ran up to the store real quick to get some tomatoes so that we can put those on top. I think you want to get out the olives. You want olives on yours? Mm -hmm. So Addie's also going to put the dessert on the Mom table. Mom made this. Mom didn't make this. <laughs> yes. This so is very delicate to make. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't feel like doing it tonight. So I did a store bought angel food cake and strawberries we, with sugar. Yep. Yeah, so some taste really sweet. yes. <laughs> I love the <with> gold. <laughs> so, well, that's a big treat because I don't normally put sugar on strawberries because. It's just extra sugar for the kids. Anyway, so that'll be a special treat. We don't normally have dessert like this, so um, the kids are really looking forward to that. And funny, so Nathan ran to the store to go get tomatoes and he texted me, do we need strawberries? It was funny, anyways, guess you had to be there. <laughs> so that is tonight's dinner. If Nathan gets here and we cut up the tomatoes, we will eat it all up. So I did not film what we had for dinner last night, which was Monday. So Monday, we actually had a field trip, which has a funny story that goes along with it that I shared in a previous vlog. I will link it right here. And let's just say I was spent from this field trip, all right? So honestly, what's funny is like partway through this field trip, I was like, or it was a hike. I was like, I am so not cooking dinner after doing all this anyways. I was like, I am definitely ordering pizza. And so later on in the field trip, I texted Nathan. I was like, so this field trip ended up turning into a pretty hefty hike. And he texted back and said, so I guess it's pizza for dinner. And I was like, I don't know if I should be offended. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He knows me very well. I was like, yes, sir. So anyways, we actually got pizza for the kids and Nathan and I, well, mainly I got Olive Garden. I have been seriously craving chicken Alfredo and nobody else in my house likes Alfredo sauce. So I ordered Alfredo and Nathan actually just had the Olive Garden salad. So. Anyways, that was last night's dinner with takeout from Olive Garden for us and pizza for the kids. <laughs> All right, so today is Tuesday and tonight for dinner we are having rigatoni. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nathan came home from work. I can never say rigatoni normal. I have to say rigatoni. Um, anyways, I'm just goofy. So, Nathan came home from work and he saw that I was cooking up ground beef and he was like, well, what are we having for dinner? And I said, rigatoni. And he said, oh, so fancy spaghetti. And I'm like, Dude, anyway, so Nathan and I have like this ongoing joke about he calls spaghetti an easy cop-out meal for whenever I don't want to cook. He isn't wrong, don't tell him I told you that, but I feel like spaghetti definitely deserves some credit for me cooking. <laughs> if I put stuff in a pot and a pan, I'm cooking. Anyway, so, um, and actually, there was one night I was leaving for whatever it was, I don't remember, and I told Nathan, I was like, well, you're gonna have to cook. I didn't prep anything, whatever. I was like, I took out ground beef. You can figure out, you know, whatever you wanna do. And he was like, oh, I think I'll make spaghetti. And I was like, so you're doing a cop-out meal? <laughs> anyway, so we are having fancy spaghetti tonight or else 
otherwise known rigatoni. So I got this recipe from Pinterest. It's actually really, really good. I, I just love spaghetti. I just really like spaghetti. Anyways, and I really like this dish. So that's what we're having tonight because I'm cooking what I like right now. <laughs> anyway, so um, it's actually very, 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 very easy. I will link that rigatoni recipe from Pinterest in the description box below, but I'm gonna show you a few of the steps. All right, so I have obviously cooked ground beef and some spaghetti sauce. So actually the recipe calls for crushed tomatoes, but I just used um, regular spaghetti sauce and added that instead because um, my kids don't like the chunks of tomatoes. <laughs> so anyways, and it actually turned out, I, I think pretty flavorful. Anyways, then you add a cup of chicken broth, mix all that up. Um, I did add some minced garlic and some Italian seasoning in here as well. Um, and then you add your pasta. All right, so I got the pasta all stirred in. So one of the tricks is that I have learned by mistake is you really need to watch the pasta and make sure it's just al dente because if it gets too mushy and then just baking it, I don't know, it just doesn't taste as good. So it's just gonna be just al dente. So I'm gonna transfer this to a 13 by nine pan and top it with some cheese. All right, so it's all done. Um, I did not have mozzarella cheese. So I just used the cheddar, I think it's actually a Mexican cheese blend that I had, but it's all good. It tastes good. Anyways, and then we're having broccoli on the side. <laughs> tonight is Wednesday and tonight for dinner, we are having my Italian chicken recipe with broccoli, rice and cheese casserole. I've actually shared both of these recipes on my channel before and they're actually like one of, well, the Italian chicken is like one of my first videos that I ever did. But anyways, if you have not tried our Italian chicken, check it out because it's really good. We really, I've shared this a few times, but we really do eat this pretty often because it's easy and it makes everybody happy. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> All right, so actually a lot of kids have come in and grabbed a lot of chicken. So we will see if we have enough. I know they're like, oh, grandma's doing the same thing. <laughs> they keep eating it. Um, that's how much they love it. So check out that recipe. I will put it in the description box below. And broccoli, rice and cheese casserole. My favorite dinner. Yes, they all love it. Okay, guys, seriously. Oh, so anyways, that's it. I gotta feed my people. All right, so tonight is Thursday night and tonight for dinner we are having Mexican lasagna. This is hands down one of the most requested meals in this house. Only one child does not like it. I call that a win. <laughs> um, so I happen to make this so it's, I meant to actually film the step process of making this because I've had a lot of y'all ask me um, the recipe of it, but it's basically just layering um, refried beans, taco meat, um, I cut up, or like tear up um, tortillas and cheese. And I do about three layers of that. And then you bake it in the oven for 30 minutes. We like to top it with tomatoes. You can top it with um, olives, green onions, whatever, you know, um, are your favorite taco toppings. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all that now. So here it is all nice and bubbly straight out of the oven. <laughs> so I happen to make my own refried beans. It's so easy. Um, a friend of mine taught me it years and years ago and it just tastes so much better than canned refried beans i'm sure several of y'all do this or do dried um, pinto beans i just buy canned um bush brand pinto beans and i kind of let them simmer for about 20 minutes or so and then they mash really well and then i just mash, mash them i can't talk <laughs> i just mash them with a potato masher and add some cheese and you know let the cheese melt and it thickens it up and they are just so good. They taste so much better than canned refried beans and I've, that's how I've been doing it for a ton of years. Anyway, so this is it with the homemade refried beans um, and I'm sure my crew is hungry and ready to eat. Like I said, don't forget those toppings. All I have is tomatoes. Some of my kids might actually want some olives, um, but I didn't cut them up. They can cut them up. I don't like olives. They taste and smell like sweat. They are so gross anyways. No, and Addison, Miley, Reagan. Harper. Does Kinley. Harper like them? Kinley likes them too. No. She loves them. No. I'm gonna I don't like olives. Away. They kind of gross me out. I don't know. <laughs> they just. Where'd you put what? Um, tortillas on top? Now they're gonna be hard. I know. So I like the tortillas on top baked because I kind of like the crunch. Nobody else likes it, but I did what mama likes tonight. Anyway, so that's Thursday night's dinner. Addison's apparently hungry. Nobody else is. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so it's Friday night. We had a extremely busy day. We had our major grocery shopping day. I have hit a brick wall and was super tired. 
Um, no, the cupcakes are for tomorrow, baby. Um, anyways, we got dinner out. So, I don't even feel bad. We got Chick-fil-A. That was good. So, anyways, that was dinner tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Drew's birthday party. So, we had to get all of the stuff done today for that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't have to get up that early. But, anyway, so, we got dinner tonight. And it was much needed for mom. <laughs> Okay, so it's Saturday night, and tonight for dinner, we are just having leftover sandwiches. Today was actually Drew's birthday party. Y'all will see that in a vlog. Um, not sure which we'll see first, but we had so much sandwich leftovers that we were like, you know, let's just eat this up for dinner. So that is what we're having. I think most of the kids have already eaten. Excuse me, so I'm sitting down and eating for a minute. Um, I made myself a croissant sandwich, and my mom actually came over yesterday and surprised me with my favorite soup from one of my favorite restaurants. So I am eating that as well because I didn't need it last night. I've already been eating, so this is what little bit of sandwich I have left, and here is the soup that I have in. So those are all the meals that we had this week. Like I said, sometimes we just need a little <laughs> extra grace on those crazy days where I just can't get it together and cook, and that is okay because not all days are perfect or go according to plan, right? So be sure to check out Tiffany's channel and see the meals that she fed her family. I hope that you all enjoyed and we'll see y'all in the next video.